Now that I have your attention and probably woke the dead, I put together a video from all our previous videos. There's over a hundred of them. Why did I do this? Two reasons. Number one, this video can serve as, as a summary, as a table of contents, an index if you want to look into something. Maybe you missed some of our videos from the past. And number two, and probably more importantly, we are going to have a trivia contest. And guess what? Rather than having to watch all 150 videos, most of the answers will be in this video. So check it out. We have all kinds of videos. And in this video, what I did was I grabbed a lot of our thumbnails because if you're new, you may not know what we have and, and all the videos that we put together. So this is going to kind of be like, I called it an index. What did you call it? Like a summary? Yeah, more like a summary or a, just a description of the variety of information that we have on it. Because we have a lot. And to be honest with you, I know sometimes when I go through people's videos, I skip. And I shouldn't admit that, but I do. But sometimes when you do that, you'll miss something. So in this video, we're going to highlight some things that maybe you missed in some of these videos or maybe you've never seen these videos and you want to go back and check them out. So I wanted to make this a contest Yay! for like to find a super, our super fan okay. and that would be a trivia contest and most of those answers would be in this video because we're kind of and this kind of encapsulates all of them. We'll ask like 10 questions. Whoever gets the most right will win a t-shirt. Our very first trip with the trailer was... The very first trip with the trailer was to Baker's Acres. My first time winter camping, he asked me if I wanted to go. I'm like, okay, sure. Well, I had no idea it was going to be 15 degrees. In New Jersey, it doesn't get to be 15 degrees that much, does it? Not that much. <laughs> It was freezing and uh, there was snow on the ground up there, but it was cool. They plowed our site and stuff. We weren't the only crazy people camping. And then the best part about that was we got to hike to see a frozen waterfall, which was incredible. And we, then we headed for our first long trip, which was where? First long trip we did was to Florida Keys. To Florida. What do you ever glades in the Keys? Keys. And I mean, everything was fine except your van was not in commission at the time. So we towed it all the way down there with your Explorer, which since has been sold. And that Explorer did not tow the the camper as well. The, with the van, you never know that the camper's back there. I love it, but with, with the Explorer, which we called Dora, man, you felt that thing the whole time. So anyway, we went to Florida and that was really kind of what started the tours on our channel. So anyway, when we got down there, we did our first tour. So this is a hint, this will probably be on the test. So our very first tour was in the Everglades and it was a cargo camper, Graham and Sandy. And that was in the Everglades. And then when we went to the Keys, we had, oh geez, we had four tours in the Keys. We had Chris. And then we had the motorcycle trailer. We had the teardrop trailer. And we had another cargo trailer that was a semi-conversion to allow them to use it still as a hauler. Once we came back from Florida, we didn't have too many tours. When we went to Assateek, we did have a couple tours. We had a bus, we had an old Airstream. So let's talk about a little bit of the places that we've been. Any of them stand out as a favorite or any strange things that happen? Because well, these could be on the test. I definitely love the Everglades. I've been to the Everglades twice before we camped there. It is a unique uh, ecosystem in the United States it exists nowhere else in the U.S. other than the Everglades itself. Well, we were there in March. I don't know when you were there before. So in March, it, it really wasn't the rainy season or too hot. So right. we, it was perfect timing. But I'm sure it gets hot and both yeah. on the East Coast. Well, we've been in New Jersey, Pennsylvania, New York. July is always the worst month for bugs. The black flies, we got attacked at in Pennsylvania, up in Kettle Creek. The greenheads attacked us down in New Jersey. That was in July. That was in the, when we were camping at Baker's Acres and we went out on Seven Bridges Road. That's when we were attacked by greenheads. We're being attacked. Someone call 911. <laughs> I 
also like six in. More. Probably like 30 or 40 in here. Again, maybe on the test. So. Oh, and then we had to text. Text. Oh. It's past March. Yeah, that was in the pine barrens. In the pine barrens. I never had so many ticks on me in one outing, in one time. Our other long trip, we went up to Pennsylvania and upstate New York. It's just beautiful up there. That's where we saw all the waterfalls. Right. We usually do a campground review on every place we camp at. Every campground we go to, I will usually go in the bathroom and film it. Oh, the other one, Sea Pirate, we that we recently went to that. It was a beautiful campground. One of the nicest campgrounds I've been. We were there early in the season, so it wasn't too buggy. I'm sure it can get very buggy there in July. But it's beautiful because they're kind of like right on the, what is that area, a marsh? Yeah, well, it's a uh, national wildlife refuge there. That well. you walk to right from the back of the campground. And it's actually part of the campground. So that was really nice. They have a nice pool. They have a lot of stuff for the kids to do. They have a pond that they stock and actually have a footage of an osprey flying down, snagging up. I guess it was a little sunny out of the water. That was a pretty cool video. I was glad I got that. Oh, and then the Poconos, the mooch docking one that we did. You may just look at that and think, oh, I'm not interested. But there is a very cool footage in that video because you put your drone up and behind the house was a small airport so he actually kind of flew parallel to it um checked and he, there wasn't any you know restrictions and he didn't go over the airport you were over there right i stayed over almost directly over myself this may be on the test who is our most interesting or most unique neighbor that we camp next to and what campground were they at and I'm not saying they have to be a person. And they may have feathers. And fly. And they talk. Big bird. <laughs> it is a big bird. So, do you remember where it was? Well, yeah, we had a parrot up in New York. Uh, so sure. So we had we were camping and people were tent camping next to us and they had I don't know a couple kids and everything and then we realized he had a cage out front and there was a parrot. So that is in that video too. That was Selkirk Shores. The one with Kettle Creek is beautiful, beautiful landscape scenery is at Kettle Creek. And looking down, we're up on a vista point and looking down is where you killed a bear when you were a kid. So then we've got some miscellaneous videos like that, talking on, to you up on that vista about what it was like when you shot the bear. And it's not gory or brutal, it's actually kind of funny, um, the story. There were like 20, 25 guys on a bear hunt, yep. and the 12-year-old was the one who bags the bear, so I thought that was kind of funny. We met with a trailer dealer to talk about some of the qualities that you should look for videos of our own camper. Um, some from the very beginning and some we went back. You talked about some of your carpenter tricks. We haven't done too many product reviews. No. We've done one on the generator. I think we've done, done one on the shower. Oh, um, and cool. our, our heater, our propane, instant propane heater we did one on. So we have some informative videos and then we have some goofy ones. Of course, I'm always the goof and the goofy one. Do you have a favorite YouTube one? No. We did one on camping in the rain. We did one on backpacking essentials. Like when we hit our thousand subscribers last year and got monetized, we did, you know, so there's some videos on that. We did some lives. We have, this one will probably be on the test. Okay. So on our way home from when we went to upstate New York, okay, we wound up was an issue with the trailer because somebody decided to ride right to a pothole. I'm not saying who it was. Okay. No, that's not true. <laughs> I decided to drive through a puddle that it wasn't a puddle. was concealing a pothole. <laughs> when you go to drive through something like that, you think it's a little puddle and 
you know, it was probably about eight inches deep. So we hit it really good, and then we pulled in to get gas, and I get out my hair. This is, I think the tire's leaking. So we wound up, well, the tire was leaking because the rim was bent, and then we wound up getting a new axle, but then you did something to it, right? Raised it or something? Well, I had them, the trailer had a drop axle on it. I had them put a straight axle on it, which raised the trailer up about four more inches off the ground. That probably did nothing for our gas mileage, of course, but it does afford me the opportunity, if I want to, I can put a fresh water tank or gray water tank underneath and have the mm -hmm. ground clearance. Uh, in fact, the existing drain connection that we have for our sink was almost in every place we camped before was too low to actually be able to hook a container up to it to drain into. Now I can you know, set a jug there to claim the wastewater, the gray water. So do you remember the name of the Good Samaritan who helped us with the flat tire because you couldn't get the lug nuts off and he had an impact? I want to say his name was Scott, but I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. See? I don't watch our videos. He really doesn't watch our videos, which is why sometimes I put in goofy crap about you. Because you'll never know. I'm like, see, that's what you get. Because you, you don't take the time to look at them and help me edit them or anything. So, you know, you're half naked in there or whatever. And who cares? You too, what? what? No, he really doesn't watch our videos, though. Which... Generally, I don't. Because I... I hear them and I see dribs and drabs of them when she's putting them together, but I... Yeah, and you hear them. But they, I've seen it so many times by the point she does it. I, well, that's true. It. You've seen yeah. it and heard it, and yeah. anyone who has a YouTube channel and, and does the editing, you understand what I'm saying. Mike Vander will be like, I'm so sick of hearing that song. I'm so sick of hearing that line, and it'll be over and over again. For that background music. We did a thing on camping etiquette. That is where you talked around about your naked hiker, which was on the AT. We went camping on the AT. That's in there. You got ways to grow your channel, what to look for before you buy. We've done some videos around the house because when we're not camping, we didn't know what to do. And we wound up showing your music room, Rick playing the guitar. Some of us were singing. You were singing, I was singing. But the real song burn in the house is, is my um, grandson's uh, girlfriend, Caitlin. She, she's got the voice. We did a thing about RV camping gifts. Oh, what about he's in the doghouse? That was a funny one. Mm. <laughs> a lot of people like that one. So that that was called he's in the doghouse. It, it was it was just funny. So he the inspiration for the video came because I, I think we got in an argument one night and did you actually sleep in the trailer? Yep. So <laughs> Through my jammies and it was in the middle of winter and I picked up honey and she and I went out and slept in the trip. Yeah. So we recreated it and I was cracking up. So the video was things you can use the trailer for when you're not camping. Um, we went camping in Walmart, of course I was a clown. And then a lady had been doing a lot of shorts. Um, I really like, I love doing short videos. Did you just say we were what, camping in Walmart? Did I say that? Yeah, I think you did. We a shopping for camping equipment and yes well you can it in and then I, I did my little weird shorts travel to space to mars that was like a parody i don't think anyone really liked it so we got like five of them we have some in there of your canoe how the, he put the outriggers on how he put his roof racks on the on the camper and then some of us in the canoe in the shower getting in the shower I, I take bugs a lot. We spot the lantern flies. We don't have too many cooking. We did make hobo stove. We have a must watch for cargo camper channels. And then we've got tours, a bunch of tours. So our most popular video is your the tour of our camper. And then the second one is Chris. A very popular video. He's great to interview and he had a beautiful trailer, which he sold. I think he's working on another one. I haven't heard from him in a while, but hopefully we'll get updated in, on his on his latest. If we can't get the tours live, we've had a few virtual tours. I'm still trying to work and get some more of them. 
because I know you guys love the tours the most, but we can't always get them. What I did was take all our thumbnails and we just kind of talked about a little of them so you kind of know what's in there. So we do really appreciate you guys supporting us this past year. You know, our channel is growing. Not as fast as it was in the beginning, but, you know, it, it, it's still growing slowly. We have fun with it. We upload still once a week, and I put in a lot of shorts because I'm trying to grow the channel. Now, with the uploading once a week, I mean, we we were camping once a month. Now we're not doing that. So sometimes it kind of feels like we're forced to kind of find something to put up. So as long as we have something to put up, we'll do it. Oh, we're going to do shooting stuff. We're hoping to do that. I was an NRA rifle and shotgun instructor for the Boy Scouts. So, um, these are all the videos that we have. Like I said, there's hundreds of them. This will be a real good summary video or reference or index or what, whatever you want to call it. And especially because, and I'll refer back to this, because if we're going to be doing trivia, most of the answers are going to be in this video. Okay. So I'll let you know when we're going to be doing that trivia live. Be sure to subscribe, like us, click on that button so you're notified when we put up new videos. And again, thank you so much for the support for the past year and a half. That's a wrap, everyone. You know what to do if you like this video. You all come back now, you hear?